Daniel here, W5EKG. Going to do a quick video real quick showing the ICOM 9700 interface with WSJT and Ham Radio Deluxe. I was doing some 2 meter EME last night and somebody had told me I was a kilohertz off on my transmission. So I went and looked and found in my settings I didn't have my GPS uh, discipline oscillator synced in. Um, but while I was in the chat, somebody seen me talking about the 9700 and WSJT and had sent me an email asking hey what are your settings I just recently got a 9700 and I'm having issues getting um, my 9700 to talk with WSJT so I sent them my settings uh, but I thought I'd do a video as well and hopefully uh, this will help some other people anyone else having issues I know WSJT's done some updates and added the 9700 to their database but I still have problems with it connecting and staying connected uh, so my workaround was to interface ham radio deluxe between the two and now um, it works seamlessly without any problem so we'll jump right into this in your menus you're going to go to set on page two or three you're going to go to connectors and on page three or four you're going to go to CIV um, on page one I have my CIV baud rate set to 19,200 my CIV address set to 94 hotel CIV transceive on USB LAN remote transceive address 00 hotel which I don't I don't use the LAN setup uh, page 2 of 3 I have the CIV USB port set to unlink from remote my CIV USB baud rate is set to 115,200 uh, CIV USB echo back and I have set to on which I don't really use but um, CIV data baud rate 9600 and CIV data echo back on page 3 or 3 set to on I remember there was another piece of software that I was messing with and I had the echo back turned on uh, but it doesn't uh, cause any issues with ham radio deluxe and WSJT having that on and that's it on your 9700 that's all the settings that you need to set up. So we'll exit out of that. You'll notice we're at 144.120. And let's scroll over here to the computer and take a look. So the first thing that we're going to open, and you have to excuse me, I'm going to move my tripod here so I can focus in on Ham Radio Deluxe. The first thing we're going to open up is Ham Radio Deluxe. And this is going to be as you can see I already have presets set in here for my 9700, 7610, 7300, 7100 but if you're new to this you're going to want to set a new preset company rig is going to be ICOM radio 9700 my COM port is 13 and uh, baud speed is going to be 115,200 uh, CIV address for some reason this switched to A2 so we're going to go back to 94 hotel um, flow control interface power I have uh, request to send checked and then all you're going to do is hit connect I don't want to add a new preset um, to have everything working over here but as you can see uh, when you save that you're going to have your presets under this tab as you can see ICOM 9700 on COM port my COM port 13 uh, baud speed 115,200 my CIV address is at 94 hotel we're gonna click on that and we're good to go ham radio deluxe is up and that's all we need to do so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up WSJT takes a few seconds for that to kick up and you can see that my um, it's still running off of what I was doing last night. I got the green light at 100, uh, 144 MHz at 120. Um, I was using JT65B last night. But the first thing that you're going to want to do on a fresh setup is you're going to go up here to File, Settings. In your first tab, your general tabs, where you're going to have your call sign or grid square. Um, the behavior of how you want WSJT this is going to kind of be on on you how you want J, uh, WSJT to act but for the settings you're going to want to go to radio 
rig is going to be ham radio deluxe not icom 9700 because we're interfacing ham radio deluxe is the communications between the 9700 and WSJT um, my serial port parameters are all grayed out um, but I have you know data bits stop bits default handshake default um, I have ran it in the past before uh, to where the data bits were set to 8 and 2 um, handshake none with no issues what you're going to want to do is go over here to push to talk method and it's going to be cat transmit audio source is rear data mode none split operation none I don't run split um, some people may like to run split but I don't run split I get some wonky uh, behavior whenever I start running split uh, so the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your audio tab and this is where you're going to go in and set your codex um, to whatever your 9700 is. Uh, mine are set to 8 on the 9700 and as long as you have your codex on your input and output set correctly you should be able to go back to radio you should test your cat you should get a green light and when you hit your push to talk your test push to talk that should light up red and as you can see in the upper left hand corner of my 9700 it is transmitting if this will focus in there we go so test push to talk TX lights up and we're good to go that's all you gotta do um, I have a few different things set up in here because I run a few different rigs um, my 7610 and uh, 7300 let's say I'm doing some 2 meter meter scatter in the morning and I'm really not uh, getting any pings on 2 meters I'll drop to 6 meters and uh, maybe getting some rocks coming in on there so I'll switch to my 7300 and all I gotta do is go to configurations and switch to and my 7300 um, is up and going for six meter meter scatter. It saves all my settings and codecs and everything for that. Or let's say um, I want to go to my 7610 and do some FT8. Well, I'm going to exit out of my 9700. I'm going to connect to my 7610 and then I'll go through here and this is giving me an error because I dropped my 9700 out but I'm going to switch to my 7610 takes it a few seconds and now it saves all the settings for my 7610 and I'm on FT8 now on here so I don't have to go in and configure uh, go under my file settings and change the uh, sound card uh, configurations between the rigs. I just saved the configurations and now it's good to go. So that's it. That's all there is to interfacing um, both of those to WSJT and Ham Radio Deluxe. Um, this is what's worked for me and I hope that this video helps some people that are having any issues. Um, if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll try to help any way that I can um, but like I said I want to do some video and because I've shown someone running SAT PC32 but now it's uh, want to do it on Ham Radio Deluxe and WSJT so maybe the video will help uh, even more so uh, like I said questions drop them below and um, I'll try to help in any way that I can, but until next time, again, this is Daniel, W5EKG73.